<laughs> President, my question without notice is to the Minister for Disability Service. Minister, with regard to evidence presented to the Senate inquiry into violence against people with disability in institutional settings, do you support the call made by people with disability, their representative organisations and advocates for a Royal Commission into violence, abuse and neglect against people with disability in Australia? An overhaul of the criminal justice system to ensure people with disability are supported in accessing the same legal protections and redress as the rest of the community and the establishment of an independent national statutory watchdog to protect, investigate and enforce findings regarding violence, abuse and neglects against people with disability. Uh, Mr President, I thank the honourable member for her question. Uh, let me state at the outset that there would not be a single member um, in this chamber or anywhere else um, in this state and Australia that would ever condone violence against people with disability, yet alone violence against any other person. I just cannot think of a more abhorrent act to actually, to actually cause abuse, violence for a person with a disability is clearly um, outrageous. Um, can I also assure the honourable member that much work is being undertaken, not only by this state, but all states, as well as our federal uh, counterpart, who are ensuring that through the COAG process that, many, that the safeguards are being created for all people with a disability as we transition uh, to the NDIS. And those safeguards are imperative. Those safeguards, whether it be by way of advocacy services, by way of additional resources, are all being looked at to be implemented, to be available. In the meantime, ADIC is also ensuring that there are substantial safeguards in relation to people with disability, in particular in the area of preventing violence. It's for this reason we have the official visitors it's for this reason we have the ombudsman and the powers of the ombudsman, so that if there is any indication, if there is any indication of any violence for a person with disability, either through the official visitors or through the ombudsman or through the police and the other resources of the government, they are immediately acted upon and will continue uh, to be acted upon. So this is where it's at. We will continue to do that. We will continue to work with our, the federal government, with our state colleagues, to ensure that the appropriate safeguards are always implemented and maintained to protect people with disability. Uh, Ms Jan Barham on a supplementary question. Mr. Supplementary is whether or not New South Wales and you will advocate to the federal government for a Royal Commission. I thank the Honourable Member for her question. I repeat that I as Minister and this government will continue to work with all of the states, with the federal government, to ensure that the appropriate safeguards for people with disability. Now, if one of those measures is a Royal Commission, I will examine it with the other state ministers, with the federal government, and give it proper consideration. 